This is AP News Minute. Republicans and Democrats are set to keep negotiating over a coronavirus relief package on Monday. Top congressional Democrats and the White House reported progress over the weekend, even as a $600 a week jobless benefit expired. Authorities in eastern Afghanistan say Islamic State forces attacked a prison where hundreds of its members are held. Dozens of deaths and injuries are reported in the fighting. Tropical storm Isaias dropped heavy rain on eastern Florida early Monday. It's expected to keep tropical storm strength as it moves north through the Carolinas. Thousands of people were ordered to evacuate as a fierce wildfire spread east of Los Angeles. The Apple Fire has burned at least 30 square miles. Rita Foley, The Associated Press, with AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. Hurricane Isaias made landfall along the North Carolina coast late Monday night. It was later downgraded to a tropical storm, but it could trigger tornadoes as far north as New England. Congressional Republicans and Democrats are still working on a coronavirus relief package. Food for the poor, aid for schools, and payments for families and individuals are all being discussed. Demonstrators confronted state troopers in Portland, Oregon, following several relatively quiet nights of protest. An unlawful assembly was declared and gas was used to disperse protesters. Three men were rescued from a tiny Pacific island after writing a giant SOS in the sand. The men were missing for three days before search crews in U.S. and Australian aircraft spotted them. Rita Foley, The Associated Press, with AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. President Donald Trump now is encouraging voters in the critical swing state of Florida to vote by mail after months of criticizing the practice, and only days after threatening to sue Nevada over a new vote-by-mail law. Major Beirut downtown streets were littered with debris and damaged vehicles, and building facades were blown out after a massive explosion that rocked the Lebanese capital on Tuesday. Experts and videos of the blast suggest fireworks and ammonium nitrate appear to have been the fuel that ignited the explosion. School districts nationwide puzzling over how to safely educate children during a pandemic have a more immediate challenge, getting 26 million bus riding students there in the first place. Few challenges are proving to be more daunting than figuring out how to maintain social distance on school buses. And London's Victoria and Albert Museum is preparing to welcome back the public, hoping that introducing free ticketed time slots, hand sanitizing stations, and guidance on mask wearing will help visitors feel safe to return and see the wonders of the world they have on display. This is AP News Minute. The White House Chief of Staff says President Trump may use executive authority to extend a partial eviction ban and address unemployment benefits. Congressional Republicans and Democrats are working out their differences over a huge COVID-19 relief package. Portland, Oregon police declared a riot late Wednesday and ordered protesters to disperse from around a police precinct building. Protesters threw rocks at the building and rammed it with a wooden beam. Police say they believe an explosive was left at the scene. Washington Governor Jay Inslee says the majority of counties in his state should keep schools online in the fall. Authorities say the coronavirus is still spreading extensively in Washington, where more than 59,000 cases have been reported. And France is struggling to keep up with the demand for coronavirus tests. Doctors say part of the problem is that many labs have closed, so staffers could take summer vacations. This is AP News Minute. Talks on Capitol Hill over a coronavirus relief package are described as close to collapsing. White House officials say President Trump may take executive action on some issues if no deal is reached with Democrats. Mexico now has recorded more than 50,000 coronavirus deaths. That's the third highest total in the world, only behind the United States and Brazil. Police in Portland, Oregon declared an unlawful assembly Thursday night and ordered protesters to disperse from around the police precinct. Portland's mayor says the protesters are not a movement, but are props for President Trump's re-election campaign. And a SpaceX rocket carrying dozens of satellites took off from Cape Canaveral, Florida early Friday. The satellites were released into orbit. Most are for SpaceX's Constellation Internet System. This is BBC News, the headlines. Police and protesters clash outside the parliament building in the Lebanese capital Beirut as grief turns to anger after Tuesday's explosion in the city. 
People there accuse the government of negligence and say corruption and mismanagement led to the deadly blast at a warehouse storing ammonium nitrate. France's president is the first foreign leader to visit the country since the disaster. He was mobbed by people pleading for help and asking that those responsible face justice. Emmanuel Macron called for a profound change in Lebanon's leadership and an international investigation. In the US, the powerful gun lobby, the National Rifle Association, is in the firing line with the state of New York trying to get the group dissolved. The Attorney General has brought a lawsuit accusing its leaders of fraud, allegations that the organisation denies.